This is our C-Arm. Uh, this, this model is the FP and uh, is our C-Arm with the flat panel detector. It's possible to have this C-Arm with two kinds of detector, 21 inch, uh, 21 by 21 or 30 by 30, the size of the detector. Uh, with a monoblock with a rotating anode uh, with 20, 20 kilowatt power. Um, it's a very uh, nice C-arm because everything, every movement uh, is uh, manually, so it's easy to positioning and very light to move. Every handle is to just to move the system so you can drive the system inside the surgery room and uh, it's possible to move without switch on the system. This is his trolley. Uh, when you plug the trolley, automatically the system can switch on and uh, you can start to work. Uh, if you don't connect the, the, um, the cable, it's always possible to switch on the trolley and see the previous images, send uh, uh, to the packs, uh, check uh, previous examination and so on. Uh, the system is completely touch screen. We have two big uh, screens on the trolley monitor and an additional control panel where the operator can see the image during the, the surgery. Uh, we have also two HDMI output where you can plug an external monitor and see the image in real time during the examination. And we have also the USB uh, connection in case you want to export the examination on the USB key or you can connect a CD burner in case. And it's possible to configure also a local printer uh, with the film to print the, the, the images. With this arm it's possible to do every, every surgical uh, operation uh, like uh, prosthesis, uh, plate uh, removing, uh, uh, screw, ERCP procedure, urology procedure. We have also the, pa the DSA package for the vascular uh, uh, treatment. So it's a C-arm where you can do everything. Uh, the power of the system, uh, keep the system able to do every kind of uh, examination also on the big patients. When you switch on the system, it's possible to log in manually. We can create every operator that you want, or we have just the possibility to log in with an NFC card. So put here the card and you can log in and start to work. Uh, of course, we have the work list. We have the, uh, every DICOM service that you need. In this case, you can retrieve from the work list the patient. Otherwise, you can create manually a patient. Uh, if you want, it's possible also to configure to have the wireless uh, USB pen to uh, retrieve and send the image to the PAX without any cable. In addition, we have here the connection for the LAN cable of the hospital. Here we have an example of the examination that you can do with the, with the, the system. For, when you open uh, the patient, it's possible to see the preview and review every image because the system is able to save more than 100,000 of images because we have one terabyte uh, space on the archives, so we have a big memory. Anyway, there is also a auto delete function to manage the space on the disk, but with this big memory is not a big problem, I think. Here we have an example on the examination. When the doctor acquires images, the last image old is on the, on the um, on the left and on the right we have the previous image. Every time that they acquire an image, this one moves on the right and here they have always the last image old. When the, uh, the operator uh, opens a new patient, uh, it can move to the control panel and it's possible start to work. On the control panel, on the control panel it's possible to set a lot of things the operator can see every time here the, um, the, the, the image in real time together with the doctor, so it's easy to centrate. We have also the lasers to have an easy centration on the patient. Okay, So with the laser you can reduce the dose to the patient because you can centrate using the lights. It's possible to also to program the time of the laser. You can set the time of the laser as you, as you prefer. Here we have the list of the uh, anatomical body part that you can uh, do. It's possible to personalize everything, so you can uh, choose to leave the uh, uh, anatomical part that the doctor needs or set enable, disable the other anatomical parts. The system exposed in three different modalities. We have the low dose fluoroscopy, high quality fluoroscopy and uh, the digital radiography. 
uh, low dose and high quality is a pulsar fluoroscopy. It's possible to work from 1 to 15 image per second or to 1 to 25. So you are, you are able to do also operation, vascular operation because with 25 image per second is like a continuous fluoroscopy. Um, it's possible to pin the image and we have also a good uh, collimator that can uh, move asymmetrically or symmetrically. You can have a preview of the position of the collimator, so it's possible to close the shutters, rotate the shutter in the position that you need, or close the square, or close the square in the position needed. With a single button, it's possible to open completely the shutters, and you can see the position, the collimator, also to reduce the noise to the patient. We have a, another additional feature that is called ABC ROI. It's possible to move the uh, ROI where the system adjusts the kilovolt. So it's easy to uh, have a good uh, quality of the image without move the, the, the system because you can move the region on the interest. For example, if here you have a, um, a screw, you can move outside of the bone the region where the system adjusts the kilovolt and you can work in automatic mode without uh, uh, any problem. Uh, it's possible also from here to manage the image on the uh, main monitors. So from the control panel, I can choose which image see on the main monitor. So if the doctor needs to review, to review some image, it's possible to um, set from here the image without touch nothing on the main uh, on the main screen it's also possible to lock the image when you lock the image the system keep the image on the right and the, the doctor can continuously compare the image, the new acquired image we have another interesting function that is the possibility to put all the screen the image it's possible to fit on the main screen the image and move here it's a very interesting thing because doctors can work with a big image and they can see better the details. It's possible to rotate the image, change, uh, change the um, uh, contrast and brightness directly from the control panel and the system will keep the settings on the, on the, control, on the main uh, screen. On the uh, main station, it's possible also to review the image in post-processing and change everything. You can rotate, see, uh, what you need, change the contrast, brightness, add some filtration to have a, a better quality of the image. It's possible to pin the image that you like and then send to the packs, export on a USB pen, uh, print in a local printer or have at the end a dose report to send to the packs like an image. Uh, when you export on your USB pen, we uh, install also a, a viewer, a Daikon viewer, so you can review in your laptop every image and uh, we have also all functionality for orthopedic purposes uh, for the measurement on the uh, on the bones and uh, and so on uh, it's possible to fit the image and print like you need so in one image you can have in one printer you can have more than one image and uh, when you close uh, it's possible to choose the patient that you need and send directly to the packs so we have a uh, uh, a completely function on the system. Uh, another optional that is very interesting is the foot switch can, that could be uh, wireless. So with this, it's possible to perform X-ray without any cable inside the room. And an additional optional is the active cooling, we call smart cooling of the monoblock to reduce the heating of the monoblock and increase the possibility to do a lot of uh, uh, patient every day. So it's a good choice if you have a hospital where they have to do a lot of operation every day because with this smart cooling it's possible to manage the cooling of the system.